Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Stardew Valley 1.6 playthrough series. It is great to be here. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So we are back on the farm today here, folks. And what are we doing? Well, in the last episode, if you recall, we did spend a lot of time in the mines, right? Spent basically two days there. Got some good ore, got some good progress. I think today is probably a day best spent kind of focusing on tidying up the farm a little bit. Let's do some foraging because it's been a while since we've kind of, you know, invested energy and time into foraging. Let's see if we can maybe catch some fish. Maybe get another chicken. Obviously keep the crops watered. Just do some maintenance things. I also want to get a mayonnaise machine for sure. I want to start producing mayonnaise. So that is on the list of agenda items today as well. So we're going to hop right on in here, folks. And while we're hopping in, if you are enjoying the playthrough series, please consider becoming a subscriber. Become a member of the community. Would love to have you. So let's rock and roll. Click on the old tube here. Weather report says partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. So it is obviously uh, salmon berry season. So we're going to look to harvest some of those as well. Just some good energy. This basically says that Pierre is selling fertilizer. Well, we know how to make it, but it does cost, you know, I don't want to say rare sap, but getting sap kind of takes some, some energy, right? Because you got to cut down trees to get it. So that might be an angle that we can use in the future here. Let's get Luna all uh, taken care of here, though. Good girl, Luna. Yeah, that's a good dog. All right. Uh, let's get the animals taken care of. And first and foremost, though, I do want to get... Let's build the chest. So let's get 50 wood out of the old storage here. And I also want to get a mayonnaise machine. So a mayonnaise machine requires an earth crystal, a copper bar, uh, 15 stone, and 15 wood as well. So we're looking good there. So let's go ahead and craft the mayonnaise machine. Let's get our chest. And actually, let's take... The eggs we have stored here, they're going to have a new permanent home. We are going to construct a mayonnaise machine and I think a good spot for it is just kind of right outside of the coop here. So we can keep an eye on it, right? Like when it's done. What is the color of mayonnaise? Yeah, I think blue is a fine color. And let's just go ahead and start making mayonnaise. Just like we would, you know, make ore bars and, and things of the like. Let's just try to kind of rotate it in as we can. And that is, of course, the logic behind keeping a chest in, in the machine kind of right there. So I think that's going to work out well for us, for sure. Um, so onward, let's get the crops watered. But while I'm here, let's fill up this fine little watering can. See if we can maybe add some more chickens, but I need a little more income, of course. Grab a carrot. So that's why I'm thinking fishing today, probably. Next rainy day, we'll probably just mine. Literally just go straight to the mine and just hammer it out all day. But it's going to be good to go foraging probably today. Get some seeds, get some field snacks. Maybe chip in a little bit of income via fishing. Just to kind of set us up for that next rainy day. I believe we have a few coming here in uh, spring. So that's kind of what we're looking at here, folks. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough series. Got some uh, really nice comments, so thank you to everybody in this community. Been very encouraging and just in general awesome. So I really do appreciate it. Awesome, awesome people. So let's get these watered as quickly as possible. Looks like we have a cauliflower harvest here as well. So that's real nice. In fact, I do know a particular individual that wants a cauliflower. It's kind of like a side quest. Strangely enough, they uh, mail you a letter. You know, they could just swing by the farm and pick one up. But no, they want to mail you a letter. And they want you to bring it to them. So I'll probably save one cauliflower. I do believe it. Get a little bit more sell price out of it. But let's go ahead and pick these cauliflowers here. It looks like we did get a uh, farming level up. That is tremendous. I think that puts us... That should enable us to make quality sprinklers now. It's also going to give us a trait as well, which is great. 
So now we can pick a profession for our farming. Lovely stuff. Mayonnaise is done. Why don't we grab that and get another egg in there? Let's go with the large eggs. See if it makes a difference with mayonnaise quality. Not sure if it does or not. So I'll stick one of these cauliflowers in here. Actually, let's stick them all in there. If we are leveling up today, right? I'm probably going to go with the profession that makes my crops sell for more. So why don't we just sell it tomorrow when we can get a better return on investment. Some big brain stuff here, folks. I'll have to kind of see what the time looks like after watering. Luckily, our fields are kind of whittling down just a little bit. As spring kind of comes to a close... I mean, I, I could get more parsnip seeds, right? And throw them in. Don't believe we have enough time for any cauliflower. We might have just enough time if we were to plant more today. I don't really want to do that. This game is all about time management, right? Alright, so cauliflower's in. We have... Could use some more maple seeds for field snacks. Uh, we're going to keep the salmon berries on us. Do we need our rod? Yes. Pickaxe? Yes. Weapons? No. Scythe? Yes. Probably grab the hoe. I don't think I need the pickaxe, actually. So let's do something like this. These salmon berries. Mayonnaise? Let's see how mayonnaise is selling. Curious. So we'll throw that in the box and get a good look at it tomorrow. A plant fiber can go. Why don't we upgrade the bridge today? I think upgrading the bridge is a good idea. Maybe get maybe get a recycling machine. What do those cost? One iron bar. Okay, so we don't have iron. Crab pot. Treasure hunter is two gold bars. Okay. Just looking at some of this new stuff, right? Alright, so let's go foraging in the south. And is there anything that I should be bringing with me to sort of help support our foraging efforts? I don't think so. I think what I want to do is go foraging in the south, kind of loop it around to the ocean, build that bridge, Maybe cast a few rods. Let's look for salmon berries. Let's also look for some seeds if we can find them kind of on the way. Let's definitely get our scythe out. Start cutting into some of this grass. Create a bit of a path. And also get hay. Alright, looking good. Alright, salmon berries, where you at? Hopefully there's a lot of stuff to forage here because it's been a while, I believe, since we foraged. So obviously when the bushes are red here, that means salmon berries are abound. Looks like you can use your scythe to harvest them as well. That's kind of nice, kind of cool. So let's just go ahead and grab as many of these as we can. We will undoubtedly use them at a later juncture in the mines, right? Let's check the onion spot as well. Here's a dandelion. These are nice. 25 energy. Want to get a nice little stockpile of things that we can just use to restore our energy. Alright, I see an onion. That's promising. Got a few more down here. Very nice. And a bunch more over here. Very, very nice. Another dandelion as well. Okay, so forging is good to us today. I also noticed this. Only a master of the five ways may enter. Zero of five. I think that relates to your five primary skills here, I would guess. So when you master them all out, you can go here. I think 
Is that the new kind of end game content? End game uh, skill content that was referenced in the the Cliff Notes version of the 1.6 notes could very well be. So that's good. It's a little less mysterious now, but I'm not sure what mechanic has been applied, right? Here's a horseradish. Yeah, we are getting all kinds of stuff forged in here today. Let's not forget the salmon berry either. Check some trash cans, you bet. We are not proud, folks. Alright, let's head down to the beach. Let's see if there's any forageables here. Okay, here's a clamshell. Been a pretty good day for foraging, that's for sure. More carrot seeds. I will always take carrot seeds. Plant in spring. Okay. Let's build this. Absolutely. Seems like a lot of wood for, you know, just that short amount of space. But I suppose that uh, we want to keep the structural integrity of the bridge intact, of course. And of course, just building that, it extends the, the beach for you here. And this is a spot where these corals wash up, these urchins wa wash up as well. And they lead to a variety of other things, including a community-centered bundle. So all good stuff here. And we're kind of overloaded, aren't we? Why don't we go... I mean, I could just run back real quick. Free up my bag. And then get back and get fishing. Here's a daffodil. Another salmon berry. Two more, actually. Yeah, why don't we do that? We're kind of forced to go back. And while we're there, we might as well get some ore smelting and another mayonnaise in the old mayonnaise machine. Looks like we have another daffodil here. And a leek and a dandelion. Wow. And another daffodil. Yeah, okay. So it certainly has been a while since we have foraged the old bands, right? Good stuff. Alright, let's get all of this situated here. Luna, you are in charge. You're doing a great job guarding the farm. So let's sell the daffodils. Actually, I'll pull those out. All right, let's get the dandy lines in the old box here. How about this forageable stuff? Let's get the daffodils in here. Let's get all this stuff here. Let's organize it up. Leek, spring onion. What do we want to take with us? I like the carrots for, for the mine. Carrots are a great solution for the mine. These salmon berries can just kind of stay on us. Got the field snack here. Get the clam. Maybe plant these seeds here quick. Of course, our watering can's almost out. All right, let's go ahead and get... Let's get another copper bar going. Got some more mayo. Mayo actually does a great job of restoring energy as well. Let's get the carrots planted and these mixed seeds planted as well. Alright, looking good. What's a furnace going for again? 20 copper ore, 25 stone. Why don't we go ahead and make one more of these? 20 copper ore, 25 stone. Let's 
All right, looking good. Now, we can head back. I mean, I do like the idea of holding on to some mayo as well for energy restoration, but I think we're doing fine. So let's sell it. Let's get to a spot where we can get our line in the water here. Maybe we can get, catch a few halibut, maybe. Why don't we pop in here and just take a look at what's on the food menu. Get out of the way, man. Talking smack to me. Ice cream. Sometimes you can find some of the, like, cookable recipe dishes in there for sale, like the, the sushi roll, right? If you can find that. I think the fried egg too but that's not gonna, gonna be too big of a deal all right let's get on the water here got several good hours to at least chip in a little bit very curious to see how the mayonnaise sells for for sure we are catching nothing but junk so far really wow okay Wow. The luck must not be on my side today or something. Goodness. I mean, seaweed certainly does have a use. But this is uh, goofy. All right, here we go. All right, we got the herring. Certainly not the best. Looking for the halibut, for sure. This could very well be a halibut here. A little more dodgy. There we go. Iridium quality as well. Very nice. All right, now they're starting to bite. Gotta be another herring. Sure is. And we literally caught garbage. Whoa, wrong way there, bud. Wouldn't be the first time I've done that, you know. Instead of casting off the dock, you cast up the dock, right? <laughs> Shocker that you don't catch anything. This has got herring all over it as well. But it's all good. It will sell. Anchovy. More trash. Man, we have to come up with a recycling plan here, folks. Stardew Valley needs a recycling plan. Don't throw it in the ocean. Recycle it. Let's go. Come on. We gotta be better. Let's do better. That halibut kind of got away from me just a little bit. All right, we have one more cast, and then we're going to need to eat a few berries. Herring, what's up? Let's pound down this berry here. More seaweed. I mean, I'll take it. It's, it's not great, but I'll definitely take it. Mm -hmm. 
Anchovy, not very inspiring stuff there. Herring. Sure is. Lovely, let's pound down a berry. Let's go halibut. Looking for the halibut. This is probably a herring. This one started off hot, but faded fast. But it's a halibut. We will take it. Herring. It's all right. It'll sell. All right, we have the need for another berry. Got a couple more casts in us here. Is that a halibut? It's a herring. An aggressive one. All right, warning cast is there. And we'll do one more and then we'll we'll scurry on back. Let's go. This is a halibut. No, it's not. All right, one more. Just one more cast. All right, let's go. Halibut. To kind of close it off. Herring, then, I guess. All right, better than an anchovy. Let's go. What are your thoughts on anchovies? I know some folks like them. I just can't bring myself to try it. A popular uh, pizza topping. Believe it or not, a salad topping as well. Which is really sketchy to me. But what are your thoughts? Make me a anchovy believer. Might be a hard task for sure. Let's get to the box. Let's drop off the nine herring. So it was a pretty good, pretty good outing for the herring. All right, so let's get a quartz, a coal, five copper ore as well. Whoops. All right, so my movement blunders there may have uh, led to Yep. Okay. So that wasn't good. But uh, yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. Of course, you know, just one more cast. And then I had a few uh, logistical errors there on the farm. Whatever. What are you going to do? All right. So rancher. Animal products were 20% more or tiller crops were 10% more. So I think what we have to kind of decide here for our level five farming profession is what do we want to do? So animal products, right? So I don't know if mayonnaise is considered an animal product or if it's just egg, right? So if you sell the egg in the purest form, I, I don't believe that Rancher will give that a 20% boost. I don't think. That's that's my thought. Now, the, the tiller, 
on the other hand, crops worth 10% more. I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? You grow crops and you pretty much just sell them, right? It's also why we were holding on to a bunch of cauliflower. We'll have a strawberry harvest coming up here. So, I, I mean, it seems to me like Tiller is the better one. I think I'm going to go with Tiller. I think it just makes sense. So let's see how we did here, folks. Uh, farming 470. Daffodil chipped in a nice 37. And then fishing 1500. Mayonnaise is selling for 285 a pop. We have a lot of eggs to kind of set up an operation. We just need more of those earth crystals for sure. So maybe we can get maybe another mayo machine. Gonna have to get our axe back first though. To get down some more trees for some wood. And then those halibut. Especially the iridium ones. Selling really, really good. So let's go to day two here. Chipped in a, you know, a, a nice two grand. We'll definitely take it. And then I certainly want to kind of strategically upgrade my pickaxe, right? So the copper axe is ready, but... I don't know if it's a good time to upgrade the pickaxe. I would hate to have a rainy day and not be able to upgrade it, right? Luck is not on our side. Maybe we do get the pickaxe upgraded. Maybe we just bite the bullet. So 70 gold here is what me passing out on my front step cost me. I mean, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I, I, I deserve that for sure. I mean, sometimes you're just working so hard, you know, you pass out on your front step. Either that or you've been to the bar or something, right? Be safe out there, folks. Did manage to, of course, squeeze another unit of mayonnaise out of it, though. Due to our efforts, so... You know, we can sell that for 285. The energy's still good because we leveled up. So I'm not too worried about it. I'd actually say it's a net positive. So let's go and get these fields all tended to. Sell the green bean. I'm going to sell these cauliflowers too. All but one, that is. Okay. Definitely need to stop back in the mines, though, for sure. I'm running low on coal. That's the best spot to get it, of course. All right, let's get the fields watered up here. I don't know where Luna is, but she needs a scratch, too. Gotta pet the Luna dog here. I hear ya. Where you at, Luna? Hey, how about that? It's a hidden salmonberry bush back there. But a chicken is in the way. Luna, I hear you, but I don't see you.
Are you stuck? Is Timmy in the well? What's going on? So I think what I should do is probably fell some trees, right? So get my new axe, fell some trees. Get the pickaxe upgrading. And then... Get some wood. I have like zero wood. Because I used it all to repair that bridge. So, I think that's probably a good task. Close out the day. Maybe chipping in with a little bit of fish. We'll certainly see. But that's kind of how it feels. And then as soon as that pickaxe is ready, right? We will take to the mines and go deep. We'll go for as deep as we possibly can. Probably do... Like a few just mining runs in the next few next few episodes in the series, that is. Look at a few mining runs, but I mean, it's going to benefit us greatly to have our pickaxe upgraded at least to copper, right? And we have the means of getting it, we have the bars, we have the cash. I think it makes sense. You behind the house, Luna? Is that where you are? Where are you? There you are. Good girl. All right. Probably chasing squirrels. All right. The watering has been complete. It's always a good time when the watering gets done, isn't it? Let's grab the pickaxe. Let's grab five copper bars. Put this seaweed back. Got three units of mayonnaise, so let's go ahead and... Can we make a museum trip as well? Guess we could if we're going to Clint's. Might as well. Got some more of these salmon berries here. Very nice. All right, let's keep the momentum moving forward here. Got the nice pollen and butterflies everywhere. Very nice effect. Grab a little daffodil. Alright, Gunther. Take this strange looking spoon. And Clint. I do believe you have a tool that is mine. Lovely. So that is how the uh, the tool upgrade process works, right? I've already kind of mentioned this, but you have to be strategic with it. Because you will be without that tool for a few days. So no pickaxe for us. That's okay, though. Should have the pickaxe back in a few days. And then we can really just... Kind of go, uh, go to town. Get down to floor 40, 50. What floor are we on anyways? 37 is our deepest floor. So yeah, we want to get to floor, I believe floor 40 is when iron starts showing up. And then obviously the, the deeper you go, eventually you will find gold. So these are all good things that we certainly want. 
All right, I'm going to pound down some berries here. Let's clean up some of this scrub land here. Get some trees cut down. Get some seeds, get some wood. And then the next tool we'll get is once we have the iron, we gotta get the axe upgrading once again. Because we need the iron axe before summer, for sure. In fact, as soon as we get the iron axe, we can access a new spot. Where additional forging can be done. It's also a good uh, place to get hardwood. Plus, this will help increase our foraging skill, I do believe, cutting down trees. So let's just, let's go crazy. Let's be Paul Bunyan here. If you don't know who Paul Bunyan is, look him up. He is a, uh, a folk hero. Looks like we uh, hit a butterfly nest here. Wasn't trying to destroy the stone game. Just trying to pound down some berries. That's all. Got a lot of these uh, pine trees here. I need the maple seeds. Particularly. There's some right there. Lovely. Alright. Here's another maple tree. Let's get this chopped down as well. Pound down a few berries. Stay upright. Let's see, 194 units of wood. It's a good stock of wood. Why don't we get a few more trees down here? Looks like we have a few seeds to grab as well. I don't want to take out trees that are too close to, to the farm. Because we want to get some tappers on those at, at some point, right? Alright, good deal. Got 239 units of wood. A bunch of sap. I think I'm pretty good with that. So let's get all this put away. Got some good seeds too. So let's see what we have here. Let's make some field snacks. We can make six of them. I'll make five. Put the seeds away. Organize. Let's see. All right, looking good. Sell the daffodil. Let's get another mayonnaise going here. Now 
Actually, we could get another mayonnaise machine, right? Yeah. Well, why don't we do that? It's kind of a no-brainer. We're getting a bunch of eggs. Looking good. All right, it's seven forty. Why don't we do this? Let's go south. Let's go through the forest. There's another seat over there, huh? Let's go through the forest, kind of down this way. Maybe do a little river fishing here. We have an event here, folks, and unsurprisingly, Linus is uh, peeking around in the garbage. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. That's funny. I wonder if Linus has taken the fall, you know, for us digging through the garbage. Although we don't really do it at night, we just do it in the broad daylight. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Yeah, you bet. Hey, what's up, Linus? It was me. I'm sorry. find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans, stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Uh, let's see. Man, you can be, uh, do we just like, do we just, I mean, I think, no, I don't think we can morally say that there's anything wrong with it because we do it too, right? So I'm going to say no. It's a shame. But thanks. I knew you were an open-minded person. <laughs> I feel good about what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not harming anyone. That's hilarious. I mean, to feel good about it is is another thing. You can go on, on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. Tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. That's funny to me. <laughs> Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Indeed. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. That's a nice gesture there, Gus. I must admit. Oops, I missed that one. I had my hand off the mouse for a second. Should we channel our inner Linus, right?
We might manage to just catch a few. Maybe we'll find a treasure chest with something crazy in it. Who knows? Looks like a bunch of smallmouth bass out, out here tonight, but we'll take it. They kind of just catch themselves. Although I must admit, in real life, a smallmouth bass does not catch itself. It, they fight, for sure. Here's a chest. This is why we do it here, folks. It's a bream. Very nice. What do we have? We have an emerald. Nice. New item for the museum. Not quite sure how you, uh, you know, hooked an emerald with your... With your, with your hook there, but we'll take it. Munch down an onion here. Looks like Marnie is uh, checking out the fishing skills here, huh? So is Shane. I think it's funny how they like stop and watch. That's right. You're beholding greatness here, folks. Alright, one more cast. Let's not pass out on the farm, though, tonight. Let's not do that. Let's not make a habit of that. Alright, one more cast. Being serious this time. Just one more cast. All right, here we go. And it's a bream. Very nice. I believe we've already turned in that bundle, right? I know the bream is part of one bundle. Yeah, it must be the night fishing bundle there. So let's sell it. Get out of my way. Slime. All right, let's get to the box. The barn door is already closed, so we're good there. And let's see what's selling better. Bream or smallmouth bass? We'll have to find out. We'll find out shortly. Get 
get out of here. Yep. So if we go for the mayonnaise, we will be passing out on the farm. And we're not going to do that. We are... Wait, you can smack your dog? Are you kidding me? I certainly didn't mean to do that. Definitely not. That was actually a big surprise. I was trying to make sure I gave her a pet. But we're going to go to sleep for the night here, folks. And we're going to turn in the episode there. So the day 17, day 17 of spring is done. We obviously got a nice harvest here. Cauliflower selling for good with our new profession. Mayonnaise also selling for pretty good. And this can be a pretty, you know, steady income source for us. As long as our chickens are laying eggs, which they certainly are. So that's good. Uh, fishing. Let's see, the smallmouth bass sells a little bit better than the bream. Good to know. And of course, uh, the proverbial daffodil. So that is going to wrap up this episode here, folks. We will be getting back into another episode here. Um, day 18 is on the docket next. So what I want to do is I want to get the pickaxe, right? I want to get that upgraded, the copper pickaxe, that is. I want to get that back. I want to get it upgraded. Or I want to get the axe upgraded to iron. But before we do that, we have to get some iron bars. That means we need to get deeper in the mines. So you can expect some mining runs here in the next few episodes, for sure. Um, definitely got to focus on that and jam out on that. We'll have a strawberry harvest coming soon. We're obviously tiller really does well for us because you get 10% more per. So exciting things coming up here, folks. And, uh, you know, frankly, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you so much. I just want to make that clear. Thank you for, you know, viewing and following along with the series. If you are enjoying the series, you know, please consider becoming a subscriber if you are not subscribed yet. I'm actually almost to 500 subscribers. In fact, by the time this drops at the rate it's been going, it should be at... You know, right about 500. So let me extend like a, a glorious thank you to everybody for your wonderful support in the community. Like it's it's been amazing. You people are awesome. So much love, much care. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.